Hi everyone, uh, my name is Giuseppina Siciliano and I'm a lecturer in Sustainable Development at the Center for Development, Environment and Policy at SOAS. Some of my research at SOAS so far has been based on low-carbon infrastructure development, justice and sustainability with a specific focus on hydropower. In my research I look at energy infrastructures as social technical systems which means bringing together technical aspects such as infrastructure siting and energy generations with energy justice concerns of distribution procedure and restoration. When we look at distributional justice uh, we refer to a fair distribution in society of positive and negative impacts derived from energy services but also to the fair distribution of access to natural resources between different uses such as, for example, uh, water for electricity, water used for food and irrigation, and water for recreational activities, and different users, such as local people, hydropower companies, national governments, rural and urban areas. Procedural justice looks at the decision-making process, such as issues of inclusiveness and participation of, of those affected by energy decisions, while restorative justice considers the actions that are needed to mitigate the potential impacts that can result from energy decisions. Some of the actions can be, for example, the implementation of social and environmental safeguards measures. Doing empirical research in different contexts in the Global South, I've seen that by ignoring these justice principles and decision-making process of large dams development, policymakers fail to capture some of the key aspects of investment decisions on hydropower that can help to understand if these projects actually achieve the objectives of improving energy access and at the same time promote a just development at the local and national levels. For instance, this approach has been used in my research to analyze and compare large dams locating in different contexts, such as in Ghana, Malaysia and Cambodia, and this research has been carried out in collaboration with international researchers and local institutions. Looking at social needs and perceptions in this, in this different local uh, contexts, we discovered that while the hydropower dams have resulted in positive outcomes, uh, such as improved energy access at the national level, especially in urban areas, but also improving access to school and clinics for the local population, local communities have also been affected by dam construction for example, from a decreased food self-sufficiency, reduced land fertility, reduced access to land and water, and in some cases, lack of energy access, like in the case of Cambodia, for example, and some problems of affordability of energy services. These trade-offs demonstrate the uneven distribution of positive de development income, in impacts on the different seg segments of population based on their geographical location, but also based on their livelihood options. The move towards energy justice and inclusive low-carbon development for all stakeholder groups is therefore strongly recommended. I also believe that evaluating energy projects from an energy justice perspective can provide a great support to policymakers for the achievement of more socially just energy, energy decisions, also in relation to other low-carbon energy infrastructures, not only hydropower, such as, for example, solar and wind. If you want to find out more about my research at SOAS on energy and development, you can find my publications here.